this is uh, an upper tribunal determination and this is a country guidance determination. That means uh, every court in the UK, including High Court, Court of Appeal and Supreme Court, has to follow this guidance in the, in the future cases, future uh, as asylum cases of Sri Lanka. So this is a powerful determination and very influential. Also, we hope that th this will play uh, an important part in the Europe because uh, the other European countries, the European judiciaries are looking uh, at UK's leading determinations and this will definitely influence their decisions. Uh, the main aspect of this uh, hearing, we have to say that the Home Office, the Secretary of State, also admitted several things. We, uh, the evidence we submitted was strong enough and they were unable to challenge the uh, facts. Therefore, they simply accepted, the Home Office in the UK accepted that uh, people in detention in Sri Lanka are at risk of persecution and uh, they also accepted that journalists and human rights activists in Sri Lanka who criticize the government are at risk of uh, persecution and they also admitted there's no facility of relocation within Sri Lanka. If, there, if anyone is in trouble, they, they can't go and hide anywhere. They will be in trouble. Therefore, they have to leave the country and they have to seek international protection. So these are the main categories which were found in this case and this will decide and determine the future of asylum seekers in the UK mainly the additional category it was defined is the uh, activist political activist in the UK and other European countries who publicly worked uh, or supported the separate uh, Tamil homeland is in the risk of persecution and they are entitled to uh, to be protected by the international country Actually, the Home Office in the UK tried to say that everything is perfect in Sri Lanka and there's no more risk to any Tamils or anyone involved with the LTT. They were trying to rely on a report released by the uh, Norway and, uh, Land Info report which says everything is uh, back to normal and people can return safely. And on that basis, we decided to challenge this policy and the Home Office also wants to change the situation, the existing country guidance case, which is called LP. In that case, there were 12 risk factors identified by the tribunal, and then it was approved by TK, which is a European uh, High Court determination, e ECHR, European uh, High Court. But this situation is completely changed now. This det uh, determination has completely rewritten this previous country guidance case. It has actually widened the risk factors. There are new risk factors found. It again confirmed several new things, several additions to this case. The Tamils are still at risk in Sri Lanka, at risk of persecution. Therefore, the country guidance case, uh, there were three appellants, three, three people, the asylum seekers were taken as uh, example cases. We three solicitors were represented. I was one, uh, one, one of. Uh, I was assisting one of the firms uh, in preparation of this case. This preparation went for months. We had to file a lot of expert reports, background evidence, and so many other type of evidence in support of what is going on in Sri Lanka. Although the war was brought to an end, still the Tamils and anyone involved with the LTT were f facing persecution, and they were entitled to asylum in the UK. So uh, this case took place for nine days, uh, almost nine days continuously. In the case uh, there were so many experts, they gave, they gave evidence of what's happening in Sri Lanka and uh, how these asylum seekers should be uh, treated in the UK. It is actually a, a victory for the Tamils uh, actually and there were so many uh, new factors were included. Apart from the 12 factors, it, it clearly says the uh, rehabilitation in Sri Lanka, uh, the rehabilitation for the LTT members amounts to persecution because they were, they were being taught Sinhalese, the language Sinhalese, against their wishes, which is completely unacceptable and therefore it amounts to persecution. This is a new finding. Also, the tribunal found that the diaspora uh, people who are actively involved in the diaspora activities are facing risk 
uh, because of the sophisticated intelligent mechanisms being used by the Sri Lankan government. However, there are, there are some uh, points which we don't, do, not, do not agree and uh, we are not satisfied with that they criticize some of the evidence uh, provided by Human Rights Watch and other organizations. TAG is one of, uh, TAG is an interested party in the hearing. They produced uh, uh, heavy um, pile of evidence of returned asylum seekers who were detained and tortured in Sri Lanka. They were found uh, to be credible and they were granted asylum in the UK, so their determinations were incorporated in, uh, in the uh, research reports. There were so, uh, several other experts, including experts from the U UN, experts, uh, several other country experts, professors attended court and gave evidence in this regard. Mainly the freedom from torture who examined and produced medical legal reports on asylum seekers. They attended court and they gave evidence which is uh, highly valuable and highly respected. They were also of the opinion that torture and ill-treatment is still in going on in Sri Lanka and Tamil asylum seekers need protection.